Well, there are three aspects of this bill that are important. The focus was on primarily the third one, and I can go into number one and number two if you wish. But the third one deals with the cost of premiums to Americans. Um, we're supposed to be doing this in order to make health insurance and health care more affordable. Unfortunately, this legislation, this massive Republican welfare plan, does not do that. According to the Congressional Budget Office and the Joint Committee on Taxation, health insurance premiums, if this Republican health care plan passes, will go up 15 to 20 percent over the next two years. And so the intensity of the discussion that we just had was how are we going to do what needs to be done to lower the cost of premiums, not increase them, because increasing them is the exact opposite direction uh, for a lot of struggling American families who are trying to make ends meet. Congressman, are you any closer after that meeting to a yes tonight? Uh, no, ma'am, I am not. And if I could uh, have a second, uh, let me explain why. I mentioned there are three things. One is we have to lower the cost of premiums, and this legislation, as it currently exists, does not do that. But second, this is the largest Republican welfare program in the history of the Republican Party, and we're being asked to vote for it. So, and ultimately, that undermines the work ethic and increases taxes. Thing out. You think they got to throw this whole thing out and start over to get you to well, the Well, this is what I would advocate, and I have advocated. We need to pass this, the same repeal bill that passed the House and the Senate just two years ago that went to Barack Obama's desk. He vetoed it. Donald Trump would sign it. It needs to have an effective date sometime in the future. Now, this is important to break the, this action into two, repeal and then whatever you're going to have to improve the system. No Democrat's going to vote for anything that has any semblance of, of repeal in it, even if it's only a partial repeal. Once you pass the repeal, all of a sudden, all those Democrat votes become active participants in whatever we're going to do to improve health care in the United States of America, hopefully at lower cost to American citizens. So now you have a much bigger block of congressmen and senators that you can work with as you try to cobble together the votes that are necessary right. to get it through the House of Representatives, which is relatively easy, and then to do the eye of the needle kind of thing with the United States Senate, where they are hamstrung by these archaic, arcane rules that for the life of me, I don't understand why they still agree to.